Hello, hello everybody and welcome back to another Make Me Ramble episode, guys. That's right everybody, I'm not dead! Ah, absolutely brilliant. So, yeah guys, I'm not dead, I have not left YouTube, I'm still here. I have just not felt like doing any videos in a long, long while. Uh, mainly because over Christmas I was that busy and also on the run up to Christmas I was not in the best place. I wasn't really having fun with life. So I didn't really want to make any kind of videos or do anything hobby related. That was mainly down to my job, but now, woohoo, I'm all aboard the unemployment train yet again. Uh, I decided to leave that place of my own accord rather than leave in humiliation, I nearly fell over there, <laughs> rather than leave in humiliation and actually get fired again. Because um, I just I just couldn't get on with, with the boss, I couldn't... Um, uh, I couldn't hack the work ethic that they had there, which is basically flog any old shit to customers. For those of you guys that didn't know, for those of you guys that might be new, might be wondering, why doesn't this guy put out any videos? I used to work for a mobile phone retailer in the UK over here, and I quite personally did not like the way they sold to customers. On the outside, they were all very fluffy and very brilliant, and this is what lured me into the role um, with their customer service-based stuff. They were very, very nice in regards to that. They were like, oh yeah, we treat our customers well well, blah, 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 you know, it's all for the customer, when in reality, all the management were doing was on top of you every single day of the week, just basically going, right, you need to sell this, but when you sell a phone, you need to try and sell them another phone, and a tablet, and a laptop, and all this kind of extra stuff on top, and I wasn't about that, I wasn't about having a negative experience with the customers, because personally for me, if I walk into a store, I want to buy one thing, I don't want to be, have this stuff shoved in my face, I don't want to have stuff flog to me, you know what I mean? So I just wasn't about that, so I thought, do you know what? I'm gonna leave, see you later, goodbye. I'll find a better role, a customer services role. So, boop boop, unemployment train, hey! But anyway, so, uh, in fact, I'm just gonna put my uh, my little notes away, because yes, we have, we have notes today. We have notes, guys, as to what I am uh, going to be rambling about. Um, so, I mean, we've covered off a bit of, a bit of live stuff, and yeah, just, I've been kind of, really really getting into my online gaming and stuff recently again as well I, I anyone that knows me anyone that's known me for a while they'll know that I have little fits and starts when it comes to gaming versus hobby hobby versus gaming there'll be sometimes where I crank out loads and loads of videos and I'm massively into the hobby and it's full steam ahead I'll be doing product reviews unboxings and um, army list stuff make me rambles commissions that kind of stuff and then there's lulls where I think to myself do you know what I just need a slight bit of a break, uh, and I've been focusing mainly on online gaming recently. I got myself a new gaming PC, well not a new gaming PC, a new PC, and put my gaming stuff on my old PC into my new base unit. I basically was pretty certain I had a fault maybe on this one, so I was like, right, well, it's going to cost me X amount to get, had to get it looked at, get it fixed. I might as well put a little bit extra get a new PC that I know, number one has a brand new motherboard, number two has a better CPU, number three has better cooling, and number four has a better looking case, because that case that I've got there is battered, and I've lost the side panel, as a result, loads of dust getting. And also as well, because there's no adequate cooling, just a standard CPU, um, thermal compound, and heat sink on that one, it's right next to a hot water pipe where it is down there, and it's just, you can hear it all the time when it's warm, it sounds like it's about to take off, it's like, Vroom! <coughs> with the CPU cooling fan. But anyway, I digress. I got a new PC. I also got a new camera, if you guys can't tell by the overall quality of this video. Um, my other camera was this one, actually. Um, it done me well. It done me very, very well for the years that I've had it in service. Uh, I can't remember what it was. It was a JVC uh, Avario um, HM103BEK, so it was that one there. For anyone that wants a good camera, that is a good, if you can pick one of those up really cheap, they're really, really brilliant pieces of kit. But I think that the sensor was degrading on mine because the colour wasn't so great and the overall video quality wasn't as sharp. I got this brand new little Panasonic one for Christmas and it is very, very nice. It's so bright! I didn't realise how bright this room was until I looked at it through this. I mean, you can see everything. It's so, so good. Um, but yeah, so, new camera, so I've got some new equipment, woo! Which means better, you know, newer and more frequent videos, hopefully. Uh, I've yet to try it over there, where I've got my big daylight bulb, so we'll try it on there in a, in a, in a little while, I guess. Um, maybe end of this week, I've got some new stuff that I've been doing. Um, 
So, segueing from um, the old life stuff, new PC stuff, we're going to go into um, just a couple of changes that I'm thinking of making to uh, the channel. Um, I, it's a lot of work, guys, to put in and make a new intro for every new segment that I do. I mean, I had one for Jeans Dealer Cult, which I've pretty much given up on. I had one for, obviously, um, The Wizard's Sleeve. I've had many different ones uh, over the past year. And it, it really is difficult to continually keep on top of that and make new videos. So what I want to do, I want to try and condense a lot of stuff down. So rather than having their own individual series, I'll, obviously I'll do individual series where, where they warrant it. So for example, if I'm doing like a really big elaborate build, that will get its own series. So you guys that are interested in that can follow along with that. But everything else, I'm thinking of uniting under one banner. I'm thinking of still having the wizard sleeve for anything fantasy related. Because quite frankly, I'm not really doing that much fantasy. So it would be nice to have something a little bit different. Uh, so what I'm thinking of doing, I'm thinking of encompassing everything else that I'm doing under one flag. So I'm thinking of maybe something like on the table, uh, in the workshop. I'm not sure, and this is where I need your guys' help. I need like you to put a suggestion in the comment section, in the doobly-doo, down below, as to what you could possibly, well, what would you like to have as a, just a generic show where I go, it could be something different every time, but the intro is going to be the same. So it's like, what's on the table, or, you know, maybe, you know, what's in the workshop, or, I think I said that just then, I don't remember. But anyway, I digress. Something like that, guys. I need one unifying title, and I'll make an intro for that, and I'll stick to that for a good long while. Uh, obviously, things like hobby tips, they'll still get their separate things, and things such as uh, unboxings and stuff, they will get their own individual um, title cards and things like that. Uh, however, like I said, I want to unite everything. Um, but anyway, uh, moving on from uh, from that one. That's what you guys can help me out with today, if you so wish. And also, by the way, hello, new subscribers. I've just had, I've had a little bit of an influx of them. So nice to see you. To see you, nice pleasure to meet you. Sit down, enjoy the ride. Hits the pleasure dome. But anyway, uh, so other new stuff. Um, we got some new stuff from Games Workshop, which is what you're about to hear. Now a bit late to the party on some of these things. Uh, mainly, is that still recording? Yeah, it is still recording, I can see the red light. Uh, it's, it's a bit different setup from the old camera, uh, that one. It's not in the right place where I'm normally used to looking on the screen. Uh, but anyway, yeah, so, uh, new models by Games Workshop. As I said, I'm late to the party on this. We've got that, um, was it Bradigus Thaddeus Thaticus Call model, which is that big Mechanicum dude. And looks awesome, but I don't know. I think that... I would like to have one. At the moment, funds are a little bit thin, so I'm probably not going to pick one. I might pick one second hand, maybe. Um, because it, it looks cool, but it's really just a big lump of mechanical stuff. <laughs> That's basically what it is. The Inquisitor model, though, looks very, very cool, and it's about time we've had, we've got a decent female Inquisitor model. Um, I really like her. She looks really, really cool. And then you've got, the obviously, the Saint Celestine with her two, um, is it Ser Seraph? Seraphim uh, bodyguards, which are really, really cool. That's a really nice model. Looks very Age of Sigmar-ish. Speaking of Age of Sigmar, I totally am now almost 100% convinced that uh, 40k is going to get the Age of Sigmar treatment, which is very, very upsetting because for all the shit that's going on, for all the bullshit that's happening in the 41st millennium in that small universe, um, it looks like it's heading uh, towards a 40k end times, uh, mainly because of obviously what happened with the Space Wolves, bloody Ferris got destroyed, there's pretty much going to be no more Space Wolves now forever, um, there's going to be a case of what you've got is what you've got. <laughs> So, because they can't make any more Space Wolves, because Space Wolves recruit from Fenris, which is the home planet which got destroyed, blah blah blah, you guys know about that. But yeah, then Cadia went bye-bye, Cadia just got fucked. <laughs> it's just like, fucking, oh yeah, demons came, ah, planet split in half, destination fucked everybody, way. Absolutely ridiculous, so they, they've done that. Um, obviously, we've had um, things like uh, Magnus the Red. I don't think I've, I've talked about that. I really, really know. I think I've talked about Magnus the Red model. I'm not going to bother going on to that. But we have a new Lord of Change model which has come out, which looks absolutely amazing. Really can't wait for that to come out. We've had loads of new Slaneshi stuff, which is great, which leads me to believe that obviously with the Slaneshi stuff, they're going to be doing everything else. Now, I have heard a rumour in the rumour mill that Games Workshop are going to be handling the Demon Primarchs. Forge World have done the pre-heresy and heresy Primarchs and stuff like that, uh, but GW are going to be focused on the Demon Primarchs. So Demon Primarchs, we have 
pretty much got. So we've got Magnus the Red. He was guaranteed to be a demon. We've got Volgrim, because apparently he's still alive somewhere. So that'll be an interesting looking demon. That might come along with all this new Slaneshi stuff, which I'll talk about in just a second. And I said Slaneshi before. I meant to say Zinchi and stuff, not Slaneshi. But anyway, I digress. Um, so we've also got Mortarion. He's a demon Primarch. That's going to be cool. Now, I think he's going to be the next one. So we're going to go um, Magnus the Red, Mortarion. Then I think we might possibly see uh, Bulgrim in between, either with uh, Mortarion or just after. You've also got Pertaburo or Pertaburo. Pertaburo. I can't pronounce his name properly. It's a stupid name. He's definitely a demon Primarch. And then you've got uh, good old Angry Ron. You've got Angry Ron, who's a demon Primarch of Corn. So I think GW. And the rumour mill says that GW are going to be handling all that, which is going to be cool because GW does do a very, very good job at the epic, epic sculpts and the epic miniatures and stuff like that, which is just awesome. Um, now, uh, in regards to uh, other uh, new models that are coming out, we have the um, Eldar stuff, which is, quite, which is quite interesting. The Eldar God of the Dead has returned. Uh, Yanid is all out in the 41st millennium. Now, the whole thing with Yanid... Um, if you look at the avatar of Yanid, it looks very, very Slaneshi. Now, I think that not actually going to be the saviour of the Eldar race, I reckon, and I think that she's been corrupted by Slaanesh. Now, here's, here's my reasoning behind that. A while ago, Eldrad Ulthran tried to force the coming of Yanid. Uh, there was something to do with there was like a planet with the L. And do, do I correct me if I'm wrong? You know, citation needed on this, guys. I could be completely wrong, but this is what from what I gather. There was a big, massive crystal planet, like planet made entirely of crystal that the Eldar used, obviously for housing you know their dead. They house their dead like as in spirit stones, so their souls don't automatically go and get eaten, gobbled up by Slanesh. Now, what happened was Eldar Ulthran went to this uh, this planet and he tried to use the collective psychic energy stored in this planet to bring about the early birth of Yanid because obviously the Eldar are in a whole lot of shit right now. Um, however, Death Watch, yeah, no, they decided to come in and ruin the party and they basically blew the planet up. So the ritual's kind of like half, three quarters completed, which wasn't the greatest. And I reckon in this short period of time where the ritual's half complete, I reckon Slanesh snuck in there and tainted and corrupted Yanid slightly. And that's why she looks all things. She's got that great big horn. She's got the monoboob like Slanesh has, which is, you know, very, very Slanesh-y. Um, but yeah, I think that's going to happen. I think that they're actually going to destroy the Eldar. And it hasn't been the first time either that Eldar have been corrupted by uh, Slanesh. Uh, an Eldar deity especially. There was, I remember reading a story ages ago where there was an Eldar craft world and there was this crazy strong demon, like demon lord, demon, uh, the greater demon of Slanesh. And they basically capped their way to the um, center of an Eldar uh, craft world, uh, found where obviously the Avatar was. The Eldar were the Avatar because they were like, fucking hell, Avatar, fucking help us, like the fucking Slaneshi demon, um, uh, demon lord is here. And he woke up. And this fucking Slane, really uber powerful, great demon of Slash, stabbed out both its eyes, cut out its arms, and possessed it. So you had a Slaneshi greater, de greater demon um, avatar of Cain fusion uh, going on there. And that was pretty crazy. Uh, and yeah, then it proceeded to just fuck shit up for all the Eldar. Um, but yeah, so let's talk about the models. The models are really nice. Um, that, um, oh, is it an Autark? I can't remember. He's like, um, yeah, it's, I think it's an Autark. The, the guy that was, was like, you know, he's like one of the big, um, oh, God, like the cast leaders. You know, they've got the leader of, like, the Striking Scorpions, the leader of, um, like the Warp Spiders. Like, I think there's, like, a like a leader guy of him, which looks really, really cool, this big armour. It looks very Dark eldar as well, which is quite cool. Um, there's also that one with the big long trail on her dress, uh, and she has a little cat with her, which is pretty cool. I thought that was quite nice, you know. It's, Interesting looking miniature little shadow cat, and I really like how GW paid up as well with the uh, the glow, uh, the green glow and stuff. That's that's pretty nice. Um, so you've got all that kind of stuff uh, coming out as well, which is going to be it's, it's going to be nice. 
Nothing for me, sadly. I would really personally like to see some more Admech stuff, and I'd like to see some more Orc stuff come out. Uh, more Admech than Orc, because you know, I can, you know, it means that I can actually do some more stuff. I've got um, some of the um, robots sitting up there, actually. I got them for Christmas, and I got the alternate heads of them, so I'll probably do a little review on those guys um, in the foreseeable future. Um, in regards to the Mechanicum stuff that I'd like to see come out, I would just like to see some bloody transports, because it's incredibly hard to get those Electro Priests and Vulgarite Electro Priests into combat, and anything else, really. Um, obviously, you guys know that I've got the big um, Macro Carrot Explorator from uh, Forge World, which is, you know, so I got, I got this beast. Some nice subject source. I don't think I've shown you that, guys, in a Beauty Shots video, but that would be a great thing to be able to be using 40k. As I said before, it just irradi irradiates everything and makes stuff really sick. Um, so yeah, so um, other stuff to ramble about. Let's have a think. Uh, I've got uh, some new, uh, a new project that I'm doing. Um, and in fact, uh, can I even get that out before? In fact, now I'm going to give you guys a little little sneaky peek. I've a new project now. I got a, a box set for Christmas off uh, my lovely fiance, and she um, was really sneaky about it. Actually, I had no idea that she'd been planning this from like months ago. When we went to Warhammer World. She actually asked me, "Oh, is that on the sly? Oh, uh, if you could um, pick another army, like a new army to start out, what would it be?" And I was like, "Oh, right, okay, it'd be these guys." Oh, did you see him? I bet you did. But you know what's coming now, guys. But yeah, that'll be in a future video. Oh, the Doge is here. Hello. Do you want to come up? Do you want to say hi to everyone? Oh. Woohoo! Woohoo! There he is! There's a little doge! Say hello, Oscar. Say hello, Oscar. Look at his fluffy little face. Look at him just looking at you guys like a little knobhead. <laughs> there you go. Come on, scarf her off your little fluff bag. Um, but yeah, so, uh, new projects. And you know, I might as well tell you guys, I'm going to be doing Necrons. <laughs> The suspense is over. Kill the suspense. Um, yeah, Necrons, because it's been an army that I've been toying with the idea for a while, and I really wanted to read the um, uh, Necron uh, fluff. And the see, thing is, I went from Necrons being, you know, just mindless robots. I didn't really like them. What the fuck have I tried on? I've a bit of sprue. Um, and they, they were kind of just mindless robots, didn't have an awful lot of personality, and that is where I find that I need I need personality, I need fluff, and I need flavour in an army in order to get my teeth into, in order to um, play that army, in order to you know get into a project with it. And now, the Necrons have. I've picked up their codex, I read it, it's really, really cool with all the dynasties and stuff, and how like some of the Necron overlords and stuff retain their personalities, and now... Technically, it's just a handful, literally a handful of Necron Lords and Overlords, and you know, there's you got the Silent King and stuff. They're the only ones that really retain their personality. But because they've been in hibernation for so long, they've all gone fucking mad <laughs> with with just with time. Time has just corrupted them. It's crazy. Um, kind of like the Men of Iron. The Men of Iron were corrupted by chaos, actually. So it's a case of hmm, hmm. could they be going the same way? Technically, they're not artificial intelligence, but they are artificial. They have just a um, living intelligence. But anyway, I digress. Yeah, so Necrons, um, I've got some stuff, I've got some like reviews and stuff that I'm going to do. Uh, I found a new, cool new basing material, That's, you're going to see that actually uh, fairly soon. Um, in regards to the army, uh, I managed, I got the uh, start collecting box set, which isn't the greatest um, value for money box set, but it's got loads of good stuff. It's got a, a Triarch Stalker, a squad of warriors, a, a lord, and a, uh, I think it's a squad of scarabs? Yeah, it's a squad of scarabs, but I've been using... Um, I've been using, whatchamacallit, uh, Oyamaru to make uh, press molds for the Scarabs because four Scarabs per Warrior Sprue isn't really a lot. You only get four bases of them and out of that I've made, I've made ten bases out of one box of Scarabs basically, which is pretty cool. Uh, I also managed to pick up this. This is pretty good. Is this all going to fall down? This is all going to fall down, is it? Can I wedge that under there? There we go. I also managed to pick up uh, this as well from um, the Outpost. Uh, it was £30 from the outpost, I think, uh, so I saved a hell of a lot of money. I basically bought a ghost arc, got a ghost arc for 30 quid, and got a free unit of Necron Warriors in there. I'm not going to use it as a ghost arc, and use it as a doomsday arc. Uh, because I want more ordnance, and some of the Necron shooting stuff is remarkably devastating. Um, so, yeah, so that's you know, a bit of a bit of a new new project, new spin on things. Um, I'm still going to be doing some of the older stuff. I'm still going to be visiting my Mechanicum things and stuff like that. And we're going to be uh, doing uh, some lots of robotic things. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much all that I can think about, to be honest. Um, yeah, I've not really. I've, oh, aside from that, I've just been gaming on Ark loads and loads with uh, Brian and Chains and people like that. Um, 
All right, Brian, I mean, 10 past Crusades 01, he sadly is no longer doing uh, YouTube, he's just doing his own thing. Uh, but anyway, yeah, so I think I'm going to call it that. How long has the video been rambling on for? It doesn't actually say on the display on this one, so I'm going to have to find out by the time that I uh, go to render it. Uh, but anyway, guys, uh, thank you very, very much for watching. Uh, don't forget to tune in for more videos. Like I said, I'm not dead. I am still going to be doing videos. Um, but yeah, guys, I will see you guys in the next video. So thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like, favourite, and subscribe. Don't forget to leave a comment in the doobly-doo down below. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys again. See you now, and goodbye.